Today we're going to be testing out what's better, the bus or the tram going into the airport. Welcome to Walk About Edinburgh with David Basson. I am your host, David Basson. It's the bus. The bus is better. But in all seriousness, I've been a tour guide here for 10 years and I was always under the impression that you catch the bus to get to the airport. That's what the locals do. It's more comfortable and it's cheaper. In fact, only the tourists who don't know any better, they catch the tram all the way to the airport. I mean, I remember watching Train Spotting 2, and the main character rents a real Edinburgh, by the way, that's actually what they call themselves, Edinburghers, but a real Edinburgh, he gets off at Edinburgh Airport, and he's greeted by these lovely women in kilts who welcome him to Edinburgh, and he asks, oh, where are you from? And the lady says, Lithuania. And he goes, oh, and he actually breaks the fourth wall to look at the camera to say, why is someone from Lithuania welcoming me to my home city, Edinburgh. And like a real Edinburgh, he then gets on a tram. In fact, that whole sequence looked like an advertisement for the trams. You can see it's got free Wi-Fi, it goes to Princess Street, you maybe even see a street performer if you're on a tram. Oh, and when he gets to Princess Street, it is twilight. And then as he goes past the castle, it's dark. And then when he gets back off, it's twilight again. That's the impression I had. You catch the bus and I thought, let's try the tram. So I'm going to be comparing the bus and the tram going to the airport. I'll also be comparing the way back as well. But the main things I'm going to be comparing is the price, the comfort and the time. So let's start with the traditional method, the bus. Now before we start this, I do have to say I got myself in full tourist mode. As you can see from these photos, I put on a heavy jacket, I put on a jumper, and I've got a backpack and a suitcase. So I'm going to be doing this as a tourist. Now you catch the bus from South David Street. The prices are £4.50 one way and £7.50 return. Unfortunately, if you're paying with cash, you do not get change. Also, they do not accept American Express. Now, there was a lot of room on the bus. You can see there was big bus racks, but if I was really going to be a tourist, I'm going to take the suitcase with me. Now, there was plenty of room on the bus. As you can see, there was a, a USB slot right in front of me. Also, the Wi-Fi worked. The bus journey itself was comfortable, and I thought to myself, what do people actually do on the bus, other than enjoy some of the views you get from a double-decker? Well, most people spend their time on their phones. But I was doing recording on my phone, I was actually recording the time. So what did people do before they had phones on the bus? Did they sing? Well, I tried to sing the wheels on the bus go round and round, but I felt like an absolute idiot. So then I thought, alright, do I know any bus jokes? And the only bus joke I know, which I heard as a kid, was, why did the bus stop? Because he saw the zebra crossing. Now it took 31 minutes and 6 seconds to actually get to the airport and it was a comfortable journey with nice views. Now when I was returning, um, it was a bit busier, I'm guessing that time of day there was a lot more people going from, uh, going from the airport into the city. But still, I had a pretty cushy seat even though I kept my suitcase with me. There was still a USB in front of me and the Wi-Fi still works. Now the time was 33 minutes and 59 seconds to return, however most people got off at uh, Princess Street which was around the 25 minute mark. But all up, the times are pretty good. By the way, if you do like what you're seeing so far, click that subscribe button, also click the like button and comment below. But now let's get to the trams. The trams start at St Andrews Square, though the few people who actually take the tram all the way to the airport apparently grab it from Princess Street. So you can get on the stop at the uh, just next to the mound on Princess Street. Uh, there's a ticket machine there which does accept coins, but again, you'll have to have exact change apparently. And I was using the card and, well, it was a really confusing machine. 
However, it's six pounds to go one way and nine pounds return. Now, when I got on, I kept my bag, my suitcase to myself, but one of the attendants asked me to put it on the rack. Now, I was fine with that because um, there just wasn't a lot of room. Now, a little further along the line, a lot more people jumped aboard. Uh, they were not going to the airport. They were all using monthly passes, so they were locals. And so maybe that's what the trams are mainly used for, just locals going from stop to stop. But it was cramped, it was noisy, and the floors were just dirty. And now I thought to myself, all right, let's do what you do on a tram. So I tried singing, but again, I felt like an idiot. And I tried to think of any jokes, but I didn't really know any tram jokes. The only thing I thought of was the floors are so dirty, I should take some photos and maybe start my own website about dirty trams and call it Only Trams. If you stop watching for that point, I, I don't blame you. Now, other than a very cramped journey, I, there were some stops I'd not seen before. Um, maybe those stops are only accessible by tram, I don't know. That was the only thing I found interesting, and the tram to get from Princess Street to the airport took 31 minutes and 59 seconds. So it was only 53 seconds longer than the bus itself to get in. So that's not that much, but still, the trams are slower. But then I started thinking, man, it's meant to be part of the tram experience. I mean, the whole thing about the trams are they are a bit of a joke. They started building them in 2007, and they were meant to be done by 2009. But it took an additional five years to actually finish it. And the company they used to build the tram lines were using outdated survey maps. During the digs, they started bursting power lines and water mains causing a lot of chaos. I was working in a hostel in Haymarket in 2013, and I saw them lay down the tram lines and then a few months later, pull them back up again. I also remember in 2014 when we finally saw the first test trams going down the tracks, hearing the long terms in the hostel start cheering. At night, when they were testing them, I could also see people had snuck on board and were using the trams as toilets. And I will say the way going from the airport to the city was a bit more comfortable because no one else was on the tram. And on the way back, it was slightly faster than the buses, going for 39 minutes and 56 seconds. So almost a f so just over a full minute um, faster on the way back. Now, if I was going to see if there's any positives about the tram, well, I guess it's less bumpy because it's glued to the tracks. So if you are, if you do get car sick, you can take the tram. But other than that, buses are the clear winner. They're cheaper, more and more comfortable, and in general, a little bit faster. But that's my opinion. If you disagree, put that in the comment section below. Thank you.